What are some of the things people have said about your video? You've been misdiagnosed, you're not type 1. I'm lying. Yeah. Are you lying? No, I'm not. <laughs> I've got a few people to back that up. Hi guys, this is a follow-up video to my client Johan's mini documentary and a chance to answer questions and put a few things straight. If you haven't seen the main video, please check it out, but I'll just give you a quick rundown on Johan's story. Johan was diagnosed type 1 diabetic in 2011 and after that point he had to inject insulin regularly in order to live a normal life. In 2014 he started training with me and after three years of improving his fitness and diet he eventually got to the stage where he no longer needed to inject insulin. Obviously this was a gradual process, please watch his main video to understand a little bit more about what he had to do to get to where he is now. Some people after hearing Johan's story have speculated that he was misdiagnosed. I don't think I was misdiagnosed. I think all the symptoms I had was that of type 1. And if I, if I died um, within that six, seven years that I was type 1, no one would have bat an eyelid about me not being type 1. Because at the time I was still on insulin. I was still, I had all the symptoms and ups and downs of type 1s. Um, but then something happened. And after we started exercising. Something happened in my body and I started producing insulin. I started noticing I need less and less insulin. And eventually I just didn't need it anymore. It's not really our place to say whether Johan was misdiagnosed or not, nor is it anyone else who isn't a medical professional and doesn't know Johan's case. Remember, Johan didn't choose his diagnosis and he did suffer for many years with all the type one symptoms. I had, I had no insulin. If, if I, again, if I had to inject all that insulin that I injected, I, I would have killed myself. And I needed the insulin to survive. One of the main reasons we wanted to tell this story is because we believe the more people that know and hear about this, the more we're likely to find answers. And hopefully if more stories like Johan's come out, then that will hopefully lead to more research. And that is actually one of the questions that Johan has had a number of times. Why didn't you go to a doctor with this? Well, I have, but they, they don't seem to want to know about it. So they say, well, well done. Keep doing what you're doing. And that, that's it. The last time I saw the consultant, he wanted to put me straight on a type 2 diabetic drug. And I said to him, why? Because I, I don't need it. My blood sugar is fine. He did say we, uh, he discharged me from the AK and he said the diabetes nurse will follow up on you. So you know where to find us if you need us. And that was it. He, they didn't want to know. They didn't want to know why or what happened. And that I, I felt a bit annoyed by that. And then he kind of said, Right, well, as long as you keep doing what you're doing, it's, it's okay. Then we'll cross the bridge when you can't exercise anymore. And we want to be clear about this. We're by no means saying that this will work for everyone. It was never our goal to get Johan off insulin. We just tried to get him as healthy and as fit as we possibly could using exercise and nutrition. So we do acknowledge that we may not be able to help all type 1s, although it does seem now from what we've learned, it's not quite as black and white as type 1 and type 2. Type 1s don't have insulin. And because I make my own insulin again, I'm, I can't be type 1 at the moment. I'm not really type 2 because type 2 is insulin resistant and I'm not. I'm kind of between type 1 and type 2. And that's what the consultant said to me, if, if type 2 is there and type 1 is there, I'm kind of in the middle-ish, closer to type 1 than type 2 at the moment. I always like to make the point that if Johan was misdiagnosed, and like we said before, there was never a confirmation of this, then there is a high chance that there are several other people out there like Johan that fit into the same category, and maybe it's those people that we can help the most if they start to implement the changes that Johan has made to his lifestyle. 
And you know, even if you are type one and you don't come off insulin or you're not diabetic at all, we believe that hearing Johan's story and understanding his journey can bring lots of benefits to lots of people. All the benefits, I mean, health benefits, like I came off, I was on blood pressure pills, migraine pills, backache pills. I came off all, all of that um, through exercise. So the health benefits alone is just amazing.